Hi everybody, this is Shell and Beach Walks, and we're doing an indoor adventure for this series because it's COVID-19. And so we're going to stay safe and inside, and we're doing a seven-part series on common shells of St. Pete Beach, Florida. So stay tuned and have some fun on our shell adventure. Hi everybody, this is Wendy from Shell and Beach Walks. Are you all ready for a Shell and Beach Walks adventure? Awesome, let's get started. So we're gonna do a series on common shells from this area, which is uh, St. Pete Beach, Madeira Beach, Clearwater Beach on the Gulf Coast of Florida. And normally we'd be outside, but we've got COVID-19 going on. So we figured uh, we'd show you some of our uh, local shells from the inside. And then when uh, things clear up, we can get back we can get back out and you'll know what you're looking for. We're, we're gonna go through uh, a few series with covering a couple of shells, two, three shells in each. So it's gonna be a, a few parts to this series. Uh, but before we start, let's, let's start back at the beginning. What is a shell? Good question, right? Anybody? So a shell is the external skeleton of an animal called a mollusk. So just like we have our soft parts on the outside, but we have bone inside, a mollusk is the exact opposite. It's got its external skeleton on the outside and the soft parts on the inside. Okay, so that's all there is to it. A mollusk makes the shells. And typically when we find the shells, the mollusk uh, has, is no longer alive and all they've left is their external skeleton. And that's a good reminder uh, not to take live shells. And, and these are marine mollusks, so they live in the ocean and uh, they don't live on the dry land. So when we find the shell on the dry land, they have passed away but if you do find a live mollusk, you don't want to take it. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One is it's illegal in most places without a license. And number two, you could kill, you will kill the mollusk because they have to be in the ocean to live. So basically you want to just leave it be. And there's some confusion on sand dollars. Sand dollars actually are not mollusks. They're echinoderms, but um, I like to just point this out as part of this and a sand dollar this is a little baby sand dollar that one is okay to take it's white it's all white and bleached out if it was alive it would be really brown and fuzzy so if it looks like this if it looks like a skeleton it's okay to take so that's just our little sand dollar segments there are two types that we're going to talk about uh, in this series the first is a bivalve which means it's got two, two shells and it hinges. Okay, there's the hinge. So that's a bivalve. Everybody knows a bivalve, a clam, scallop, oyster, mussel. And the other type, these are the most common types that we're gonna cover, is called a gastropod. Oh, by the way, this was a sunray venus. It's called a sunray venus. Quite a pretty pattern. You can see that sunray pattern. And this is a uh, gastropod which means it has just one opening. Can you see that opening? It's a very pretty shell, huh? That's a Florida fighting conch. So bivalves, gastropods are the two types we're gonna talk about. And on our next video, we're gonna start in on our box and talk about each shell individually. So you get to learn the common shells of Florida's Gulf Coast in this area. So in closing, that's our Shell and Beach Rocks adventure for now. Tune in, tune in to the next part, and we hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.